Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Welcome back to my Create an RPG series. In this episode, we will be enhancing our abilities further by having it be able to add properties uh, to your character, just like we have for status effects, for example. So let's jump into it. We'll open up our uh, blueprint for ability base. And what we want to do here is essentially make use of our pre-step now. So first off, let's do this. We'll um, actually, let's organize this a little bit. We'll take the use required tag here and put it in a category called tag functionality. And then we'll do the same with the use prevention tags and put it in there as well. And then we'll create a variable, which we will be calling uh, use adding tags is a okay name, I think. And we want this one to be uh, of the type gameplay tag, not container, gameplay tag. And we want it to be an array. Now, this is essentially going to be something that gives, if your ability gives you a property while it is being used. Let's say maybe you have a dodge uh, you could make an ability for a dodge and that ability is supposed to give you invulnerability frames. Uh, you can essentially set up that it gives you an invulnerability tag while you're doing the dodge and then remove the tag afterwards and then your dodge is actually working like in Dark Souls, for example. So it's pretty easy what we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting our use adding tags over here and we're going to be looping on them. In our usability pre-step is where we want to be adding this. So it's something we add just before we start using the ability and then we want to remove it when we're done using the ability. So the usability is going to run from when we have completed adding all of these then. And these we want to encapsulate in sort of a function. So we'll create a function for this. We'll call this add ability tags or let's call it tag since it's one, since we're looping on it essentially. Uh, and this one will be taking a gameplay tag then as a type, because that's what we're looping on. And we call this ability tag, like so. And what we want to do now is we want to have our owner, the one that's using the ability. We want to get its uh, component by class. We want to get the gameplay tags component. We want to make sure that it is valid because we're going to try and interact with it. If it is valid, we want to get this and say add a tag. And that's it. And then we just need to hook up the tag that we want to add. And then we create an origin as well, because that's something that we sometimes make use of, right? So the, the actor in this case will be the owner that we have. And the controller can get the instigator controller and send that out there. So now we are actually also, let's be proper here and add a return here, just so it's clean and nice. Uh, like so. So now we have the ability to add a tag. So actually, let's go back to our loop again and we'll just call the add ability tag, like so, and hook in the array element in there. So now, when we get to the point of we're attempting to use an ability, we try to use it. If we're able to use it, we call the pre step. The pre step will be then going through all the adding tags and it will be looping through them, adding it to the component if we have one. And then once it's done with that, it will use the ability. Using the ability will then go through and do all of the animation stuff in this case, and then it will call end ability. End ability is a step where we actually want to undo whatever we have done then. So if we added a tag, uh, we want to remove that tag. So we'll just loop on this again. Loop. Okay. 
like so. And then we want to do the same thing we did before, but in reverse. So we will uh, duplicate this and say, instead of add ability tag, we call it remove ability tag. Like so. And inside of here, we want to, instead of adding the tag, we want to remove the tag, right? So remove that, like so. Hook it up if it's valid. Hook up the origin, hook up the tag that we're sending. And we're pretty happy like that. There we go. Okay, so going back again, we have our removability tag now we can call. We will hook in the ability like so. And that's done. So let's see how this works then. So we have some debug information that writes in the top left if we are adding and removing tags, right? So we can just go to our ability slash, which is currently our sort of debug ability at this uh, point in time. And we have the use adding tags over here. So we can say here, for example, that we were going to be add a tag, adding a tag called, let's create a new tag. Let's call it, um, let's see here, gameplay tags. And let's say, um, state.attacking or something like that. Okay, close that down. We go to our uh, slash. We say we want to add the state for attacking when we are actually doing an attack. That makes sense, right? So if we press F11, we press E, you can see in the top left, we get an attack, we get an attacking tag, we get the attacking tag removed. That's the, what the number represents, like one and then zero. Um, so now we can see that we are actually getting uh, that happening. However, you can see that, for example, I can spam my uh, E key a lot and it will run multiple times or it will like start adding multiple tags and stuff like that and there's no interruption. One simple way to use something like this is to have something like um, our ability slash here. We can say it's my blind. Where are our Where are our tags? Uh, the, the required tags, prevention tags. All oh, right, we, we put them in a category, right? Yeah, so tag functionality. That maybe wasn't the most brilliant thing ever, but yeah, so let's do this. Using adding tags, we put this in the same category as tag functionality. So at least uh, these things are all grouped. That makes sense. Then we can say that, uh, for example, prevention tag here, we can say that the state of attacking would be preventing uh, this ability from being used, which means that if I now spam the E key, it doesn't really matter because if I put the attacking tag on once, I won't be able to initiate the, the ability until that tag is removed, essentially. So if you want to have a game where uh, you are committed once you've used an ability, then that's one way to go about having uh, that sorted out in that manner. While we are enhancing the base ability, let's just hook in some other functionality as well. Um, we do have the functionality here of can use ability, which is uh, something you could overload, but you might want to have it like a little bit more granular. So what we could do is we could also add um, another function here, which uh, checks if you're allowed to use an ability. So you could do something like um, final use allowance thick. So essentially what's happening here is when we check if we can use an ability, we have the ability that checks against if we have prevention tags, if we have required tags, but you might want to have something else also checking if you have enough mana or enough stamina or whatever. And in that case, you uh, may want to have that uh, be the one that actually is overloaded or, or overwritten in the children. So you like don't touch any of these and you don't want to touch the can use ability. You can just, uh, oh, sorry, I dragged out this one. Uh, I mean this one. 
uh, you can just use this ability to have as your last check if you're allowed to use an ability, right? So we'll just add some functionality here. We will make sure that it sends out an output of a boolean. Um, important here, make sure that this one is true because in the default here in the base class, we won't actually be using this. This is just for overloading and other children. So we call this um, allowed to use, which means that it will always be true in unless you actually overload this in, in some functionality later on. Uh, and if it is true, we want to continue and check the other things. If it is not true, we just go out here and say we can't use the ability. Uh, this, this way we have some flexibility for our uh, children later down the line, essentially. Yeah, I think that might be a good place to stop for now. So let's save everything. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.